Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take our object-oriented programming knowledge a little bit further. We're going to actually start using the text editor. We're going to write um, a program uh, that tracks students. So we're going to get the student's name, age, grade, GPA, stuff like that. And we're going to learn to modify and work with it through inheritance and... Um, attributes and all that other fun stuff and we're going to combine it all so you guys can actually learn object oriented programming like many of you have said to me over the last couple of days as we've been working on this through messages and whatnot that there's no real good tutorials on youtube so i'm going to hopefully solve that issue here so first things first let's go ahead and create a directory to hold our future programs in because we're getting more advanced in python here so we're going to start writing more in text editors meaning we're going to have Python files everywhere, so we want to kind of keep it organized. So we're going to create a directory. So I'm going to go ahead and do mkdir pro Python. All right, this creates a directory called pro Python. I'm going to cd into pro Python. And then for today's project that we're going to get started on, we're not going to finish it today, but we're going to get started on it. We're going to get, like I said, we're going to have a school that, you know, tracks students and whatnot. So we need a directory for that. So let's go ahead and do mkdir school. All right, let's set out CD in the school. All right, uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and open up our text editor. I'm going to open mine up on Pro Python, and I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, so um, I paused it just to let PyCharm catch up. So basically, <clears throat> you can use any text editor if you want to use uh, Sublime. Um, you can use any other ones out there. Uh, but I use PyCharm, uh, and if you're going to be a full-time Python developer or working with any type of Python code, PyCharm is a great product, so check it out. Anyhow, in school, let's go ahead and right-click on school here, and we're going to create a new file. We're going to call this file student.py, student.py, just like that. And then here we're going to create a class, so let's just jump right into it so we don't kill much time all right so you guys have seen how to create a class before we're going to create a class called student and what the hell there we go all right so my i think my keyboard's dying all right so um we're going to create a class called student student all right it's not going to take any inheritance and then we're going to define our uh init constructor or method we're going to have self and then we're going to have first name all right so we're getting the initial data for the and this would be for a student of last name we'll have age we'll have uh grade what grade are they in like are they 12th grade, 11th grade, all right, and then their GPA. Um, down here we're going to do uh, self.firstName is equal to first name, like that, and then we'll do self.lastName is equal to last name, like that, and then we'll do uh, self.age is equal to age, self grade is equal to grade oops grade and self dot gpa is equal to gpa all right cool so that's the beginning part of our program that we're going to be writing and the big thing i want to do today was just get organized situated so you guys know how this all works so we got our class created now let's go ahead and um create an instance of this class in our terminal so how we do that that's a great question um let's go ahead and run our python interpreter so it's going to be python 3 for me might be python for you hit return and the first thing i'm going to do is from uh what the heck do we call the file student so we call the file student.py so from student dot or from student import the class student so it's got to be uppercase and then I'm just going to say um, a student a is equal to and we're going to say students like this and we're going to go ahead and put the first name be my first name Tom 
my last name Myers. Um, and then what was the next one? I believe it was age. Age. So we'll say, I think I'm 36. Yeah, I'm an old student. Um, I'm a, in 12th grade and my GPA is, well, I don't know my GPA, so I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm doing this for a reason. Watch what happens. Up uh, in it. It's missing one required positional argument GPA. All right, so um, a GPA is a required argument. So how do we get past that? Well, we can initialize it to something other than um, a blank. All right. So since we don't know a student's GPA, let's go ahead and set it to 0, 0.0. All right. We'll see that file you might we might need to st restart the text editor here we'll our inter interpreter here find out in a second all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the interpreter clear my screen and we'll just do this one more time Python 3 and we'll do uh, from student import student all right, and we'll just say a is equal to um, student, and then Tom Myers, age old as hell, thirty six. Uh, next one is grade. I'm gonna say I'm in twelfth grade, and then my GPA I can leave blank at the time. All right, there we go. So now if I call a dot first name. Like this, I get Tom, A dot last name, I get Myers, uh, A dot GPA, I get 0, 0.0. That's probably that probably reflects my senior year GPA very well. So there we go. That's how we're gonna set up our program. In the next tutorial, we're gonna start working with inheritance and stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions up to this point, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial as we build onto our uh, little school program here. So I'll see you guys then.